Alrighty guys, welcome back. So today guys, we're currently back out here at the shop here today. Now for today's video guys, I went ahead and pulled out the short bed dent side here, the 77. Gotta love this truck. Uh, I built this about a year or two ago. This thing has been my mud truck, also my tow pig, because we have it hooked up to the 44 foot gooseneck trailer here today. And I have two new vehicles to go ahead and pick up because we have quite the operation going on out here i figured I'd, I'd pick up two quite different vehicles to go ahead and add to the collection I actually start the collection so in today's video we're going to run down to town what's well, actually let me think here it's actually about 10 minutes away pretty convenient pretty convenient it's not quite entering town yet it's just right before you get into town you can take this little turn off and then we're going to pull up to uh, this guy's house this guy's property and he has two new vehicles uh, that he's going to give me a smoke can deal on today so that's uh that's the plan let me just show off the dent side short bed here real quick i mean i got this this puppy all shined up and clean and uh yeah guys this thing's jumpy it, it, it'll pull through any mud hole it'll pull any trailer with any sort of load now this is my first time actually well not my first time this is my first time in a couple of years actually picking up two new vehicles all right now the first one is pretty conveniently also a uh 70s model ford all righty guys this one's I think a 71 I believe yeah so we're gonna be picking up a 71 Ford F-250 as well as a vehicle that's pretty unique that I've been looking into getting one for a little while but I wanted to make sure I got one that was a built diesel now this one here is actually 6.0 power stroke I've been looking into a couple 7.3s but I have a lot of those around and uh it's just a little more unique if, if I uh, get a 6.0 no, now this one's already bulletproofed and everything so it saves me some time I mean it's a little bit sad because I wanted to bulletproof it myself Self, make sure all the engine work was done correctly but hey if i've ever any problems with it i i know the guy that will go be able to go through it and fix it all up and that guy would be myself now this truck here it's a ford as well pretty unique and let me tell you guys it's the biggest suv of all time you guys got it right it's a it's a ford excursion all right guys it's an 05 ford excursion 60 power stroke sitting on about 10 inch lift 40 inch tires ah oh, so beautiful it's a great looking truck and I, I believe it's actually the same color as the this dent side here the uh the 71 is white i believe i know they've both had engine work done to them i know that uh the wheels aren't in very good shape on the white one but but they are america forces and um actually not that bad and, and here we are so here's the excursion and the 71 high boy here i'm just gonna go ahead and just pull in right here i don't really know how i'm gonna turn around i don't really feel like going behind or anything Hey, I could back up eventually if I need to. But yeah, guys, so look at the uh, the Ford Excursion there, as well as the F-250. Good looking set of vehicles right there. Can't wait to go inside, talk to the guy, make a deal, get stuff, get stuff situated, and then get him loaded up on my trailer and get him back at the property. See what work I need to do to him. I don't know. These are two very beautiful vehicles, and I'm glad this dude got his hands on them and got them built for me. And, uh... Well, he didn't know he was going to sell them to me originally. He just, the the deal came up. The opportunity came up, and we're making a deal today. And Yep, so just because the opportunity came up, it's time to shine and get these things back to the shop over there. So I'll show you guys these trucks up close a little bit more. Looks to me, both of them, I know that one's a 6.0. It looks that it might be a 12 valve under the hood, actually, of the 71. That just made my day even a little bit better. So I'll show you guys these trucks a little bit more up close in just a moment. I'm going to go inside and talk to the guy, get something, uh, some information figured out. I'll catch you guys with that. Alrighty guys, so I just went ahead, opt in the excursion first, had to show you guys the pristine, clean interior of this puppy here. It's 05 excursion, very good looking, very nice, clean interior, and uh, you know, it sits a whole lot taller than, uh, than the 71 there, but that's alright. 71's got some beat up America Forces on it. This one here's got a nice new set of TIS off-road ramps, pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh, look at that 6 so that is just beautiful. And that is a 12-valve, yeah. Would you look at that? That's a 12-valve under the hood of the 71. Wow, isn't that cool? You know, the grill looks just a little bit busted. I, oh, yeah, I, he did tell me he hit a deer in this thing one time. And that's just mud. I mean, he just went through a mud puddle on the uh, or in the 71. That's why it's so muddy. So, 
All right, guys, super clean vehicles here. And guys, you won't believe this. 14 grand for both. One of the best deals I've ever had. So I'm going to go ahead and give them the 14 grand cash, get these loaded up on the trailer, and take them back to the shop. And then we take them for a test drive. Well, actually, hang on. I'm in this one. Let me just go ahead and start it up here real quick. All right. Oh, let me go ahead and put it in neutral. Oh, there's a lot of coal in that. That whistle. That whistle is just uh, incredible. I mean, you got to love that 6-0 whistle. There's a lot of coal, too. Let's go ahead and throw it in into automatic here in the drive. And let's just let's take it up the road this way. You know, in a little bit. Yeah, it does roll a lot of coal. Hold on, let's turn up that tuner. Get the speed going a little bit. All right. I mean, this thing's not slow. And, guys, this is the biggest SUV ever made. Sitting on F-350 platform, F-250 slash F-350. Some, like the 5.4s and I think some of the V-10s were put on three-quarter uh, ton frames. But then uh, some of these were actually put on one ton frames. I think mo most of the 7.3s and I'm guessing the 6.0s as well were also put on one ton frames. So this thing might be a one ton. Probably is a one ton. Who knows? Now, guys, I'm just going to come to this road here. I mean, this thing is pretty quick. And it rides pretty smooth, too. Let's tr test out the brakes. Not bad. Turning radius could use some work, but... Oh, well, this thing is pretty high in the sky. I like the the 10-inch custom four-link lift. I'm impressed with it. All right, let's get this thing up to speed coming up the road here. Oh, man. Lost a little bit of traction there. But it's just a little bit slick out. But, man, yeah. This, uh, this, this truck is fun to drive. One heck of an SUV, and it's very nice blue color. This was repainted. Actually, this might be wrapped. I'm not too sure. Uh, but I know they never came this color. Oh, I mean, yeah, this thing is pretty rowdy. Oh, it's got the tinted uh, tail lights as well. Very bright uh, reverse lights once you put it in reverse. Cause that's, that's, this thing is really cool, guys. Like, I love excursions. Uh, maybe next I'll buy a 731. Who knows? Maybe just a future purchase idea. I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I missed my turn already. Oh, maybe I'm going into town now. Hold on, I gotta turn around and find out where I'm going. Because I'm not too sure where I'm ending up at, actually. Where? Oh, it's up here. Off the road a little bit. Man, I did not know how far I went down the road. Alright. Let me go and park this puppy behind the trailer here. So I can get this one loaded up on the trailer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and Hop in the 71, take it for a quick spin. God, test out that 12 valve before we take it back. I'll catch you guys at that. Alrighty, guys, we are now in the 71. Tier is actually not that bad. I'm just go ahead and give some test revs here. Oh, there you go. Roll some coal. Roll some coal. Oh, that engine looks so good. Sounds good too. All right, let's take it for a spin here. Probably ride a whole lot smoother than the excursion. Slide that corner there. This time we're going to go up this road and, oh man, that was pretty fun. A little slide there, but we're going to go up this road so we don't go get lost. And yeah, this thing is not slow one bit. Pretty fast if you ask me. Ooh, went off road a little bit. Let's try to take it up here. Oh, that's a little too steep for this thing. Alright, that winch is pretty powerful. Got my truck flip back over. And oh, we're spinning. We're spinning the 37s here. I think these are 37s or 38s. All right, and it's actually starting to snow. For the first time all all December. That's crazy. All right, I think it's time we fly down this hill here, slide a little bit. Oh, I can hardly see in front of me. There we go. And just turn on the headlights instead of the running lights. Yeah, we got to make this deal quick. Let me go ahead and park right here. Let me go drop drop the ramps real quick. Wrong truck. There we go. Let me go ahead and start her up. Drop the ramps. I'm gonna get this uh, these trucks loaded up here. We'll start with the excursion, and uh, I've got to turn on that e-brake. All right, there we go. I'm just load up the uh, the the 71 now, just because it's a little bit more convenient. All right, guys, excursion is going on first. Now that I got the truck on some even asphalt here. All right, now I'm gonna go and strap it down in a second. Once we go ahead and hop into the uh, 71, get it all loaded up here, and we can be on our way. And yeah, guys, the headlights on this on this thing is pretty bright. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the 71. Catch you guys with that. All right, guys, just went ahead and strapped down the excursion and the 71 high boy got the ramps put up and now it's time for the woo got a little bit of a wheelie out of this thing yeah it's time for my toe pig to go ahead and take these 
these puppies back on up to the shop. I'm just gonna roll through town, then circle back up using a different highway. Yeah, I mean, this thing tows pretty smooth in two-wheel drive, as well as four-wheel drive. It's looking pretty good towing back the excursion and the 71 while i'm going through town here i should probably turn on my headlights yeah guys i think that's going to wrap it up for today's video catch you guys very very soon in the next one thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed leave like if you did subscribe if you're new and you haven't already and with that one thanks for watching with that i'll catch you guys very very soon in the next one